Hi, not all burger joints were created equal. With 20 mouth-watering burgers available, all cooked to order using fresh, premium quality ingredients, we're pretty sure you love every last bite. We're located at 320 Packington Street in Newtown, 51 Moorabool Street in Geelong, and for information on the menu, check out burgerinc.com. So come on in, we'd love to feed you. Umpire to throw it up, Hill and Ganain to go at it. Ganain wins the tap down. Gee, Clark did well there. He got a foot on the ball off the volley. And a free kick's been paid against Ganain. And I tell you what, the book's going to come out. And it's now on. Hill has been dumped on his backside. Daniel Ganain has just ruined a good half of footy by being reported, I think, for striking young Hill. Hill's already been off the ground in some, some sort of irony. Michael Poon not too happy with him. And the, uh, well, umpire's just not losing control, but just need to regain control very quickly here of this situation situation because Ganane is now about to be red carded. Daniel Ganane's day is over. He's going to go and have a nice cold shower or warm shower because it's a home rooms here. Cold shower for Torquay <laughs> and he's off the ground. Yeah, well, look, runner, uh, runner being spoken to as well. The runner for Torquay has been given the uh, see you later as well. He's well, the last thing you want is uh, runners, runners getting involved in any of these uh, malaise like that. And, uh, of course... Uh, now, Tim Clark has also come off the ground. So, I don't know what's... I don't know. Tim, there's a bit of verbal going on between the crowd. Tim Clark and the uh, Torquay crowd, because the Torquay crowd have dominated up here on the uh, on the balcony. Now, the umpires are just working out what's going on. So, I think Tim Clark has been sent off. Ganane has also been sent off. So, Ganane must have been red carded. Tim Clark, possibly. This is going to make for some very, very interesting reading during the week. So Tim Clark not too happy. He's just giving an absolute mouthful to the Torquay supporters. And I'll tell you what, this could get ugly up here. On the, probably not going to have any impact on the result, Mick. No, no, the game is just about finished. And uh, and, and, and for amateurs to fall for the uh, an undisciplined thing like that late in the game is... is uh, is, is not good. Yeah, not going to be very good because they might play out in the tribunal and uh, come round at eight after the uh, interleague bye. There could be some, uh, yeah, it could have some rep repercussions for that. Now, the ball's in the ammo's forward line. Zaparenkov leading out to try and take the footy. Goes over the back. Been cleared out now by Torquay. Casey to fly. Ball back of the pack. Leaving it behind looks like it might have been Book of Ours. He can't take the footy. Picked up now for Kennedy. Kennedy gets a handball over the top to Farrelly. Farrelly with the footy, swings it out wide to McMillan. Pittard gets a quick handball off to a teammate running by him. Must be Carson. He pumps the ball forward, looking for Poon. He goes with Sackcliffe now. There's going to be a free kick paid to Poon. Well, this is just throwing some interest into the game late. We've gone 27 minutes and 20 seconds, so you wouldn't think this one's going to go... It, it won't go too much longer, longer but, uh, but uh, certainly the, the impetus is with Torquay at this point yeah, of time. It certainly is. So 35 out directly in front. Michael Poon, a chance to kick his fourth of the afternoon, and he does. So that brings the margin back to 19 points. So we've gone just under 28 minutes, 19 points the margin on Vision Australia's scoreboard. Amateur, 14-5-89. Torquay now 11-4-70. So margin probably flattering Torquay a little bit, but who's to say they're not without some... Up and play. So they're uh, yeah, too loose in defence at the moment, Torquay. McCurry wins the tap down in the middle of the ground. Now, it's not getting out of there. Knocked out. Ammo's a chance now. Butler with quick handball. Kicked out of there by Bromley. Ball gone forward. Bryce and Zaparenkov. Bryce lands on Zaparenkov. Umpire says that's all right. Play on. Westwood over the footy for Ammo. Knocks the ball out. Bird in there as well. Ball comes out. Carson to fly for the mark. McMillan Pittard leaves it behind. Kicked forward for Amos. Now fly, going back with the fly to the ball, dropping the mark was Grayling. He recovers, gets a handball back to Bryce. He can't get his foot on the footy, so Bryce has to go back and get it. Ball at ground level, McCurry can't pick it up. And a free kick's been paid to Mitchell, I think it is. And that will just about end this one as a contest if it wasn't over already. So David Mitchell will take the free kick, 45 out from goal. Anthony McCurry gives away another free kick. May have been a bit unlucky, Mick. Yeah, very, uh, look, uh, <clears throat> I feel a little bit sorry for, for uh, Brennan McCurry. He's, he's trying his hardest and, and he's a big awkward fellow and every time he sort of 
it does something like that. He seems to grab a bloke just a fraction late and the umpire's on the spot and, and uh, penalise him for it. David Mitchell has kicked two this afternoon. He They both came in the first half. A chance for a third and to extend the margin out to 25 points as shadows start to lengthen. Here we've got a little bit of sunshine trying to break through as Mitchell from 48 metres. Oh, what a oh. lovely kick from David Mitchell. He's third of the afternoon. Has 18 for the set of the ground and to Ruckman to go at it with Ganain off the ground. Young Book of Vars has had to go up in the ruck. Quick kick out of there by Butler's going nowhere. It's smothered off the boot. Now there's two ammos looked at each other and decided not to pick it up. Ball pumped out of there by Bird as the siren goes to end this one. And our Burger Inc. Player of the Day, 25-point win for Geelong Amateur there, skipper Tim Clark. Congratulations, Tim. Some fresh grill skills coming your way from our good friends at Burger Inc. I hope you enjoy that. You've got a burger of your choice, either at Mirable Street in Geelong or uh, Packingham Street in Newtown. But firstly, mate... Top of the table clash, you came here knowing that Torquay were going to throw everything at you. They did, but nice to get away with a 25-point win. Yeah, no, definitely. It was a good hard-fought win, and we finished with only 18 fit men. Um, I think our attack on, the, attack on the footy was second to none today, which, uh, yeah, definitely went a long way to getting the result we wanted. You set it up in the first quarter, kicked six goals to two. You really needed to get a break on them because you knew if they were still sniffing around at three-quarter time and within striking distance, they were going to be tough to stop. Yeah, definitely, mate. Um, as with any game, obviously, you come out and want to get away to a good start, but especially in wet conditions, if you can get a few goals up, it certainly helps you dictate the rest of the game. An injury concern, no doubt, is Lindsay Smith. He came off during the second quarter. What has he done and what's the extent of the damage? Oh, I'm not too sure, but uh, I think he might have hurt his shoulder or something like that. But he goes down every second week, the big fella. So he, uh, we, we'll be confident he'll get up in a couple of weeks. It was a really absorbing jewel to watch McCurry and, uh, and Smith going head-to-head. -head. It was, yeah. They're both pretty competitive ruckmen. Uh, and big McCurry likes to throw his weight round. And, uh, and Lindsay, as we know, is a class act. Daniel Ganain, though, had to take up a bit of the slack until he was sent off in the, uh, in the last quarter and uh, did a pretty good job. He did. Yeah, no, he's been great as our, as our backup ruckman. He also plays a started at full back and, and takes their biggest fella most weeks. So uh, Gunner's been great and I think we'll just have a nervous wait uh, during the week at the Tribunal. Trevor Edwards today, really good. Got a lot of the footy early and really was one of those influencing factors in the first half that, that set up that match winning lead. Yeah, definitely. He's got good run and carry and big raking left foot, Trev. And I can't think of too many weeks this year he hasn't been in the best. So uh, yeah, credit to Trev, he's really been working hard and I think he's even been getting in the gym and pumping a couple of weights. Michael Poon kicked four goals, but that's not to say that Nick Sutcliffe didn't do a fairly good job on him. No, no, Sutty's great for just a young fella and obviously he's a twig compared to Big Poony. But uh, I think Gunners started on Poony, might have got one, one or two on Gunners and, or Ganane. And uh, yeah, Sutty went to him and did a great job. Mate, uh, set you up 7-0. and Next one, though, a tough one. You go down to Anglesey and then you round out your first nine rounds with uh, a clash against Newcombe. So the potential to be 9-0 and zero at the halfway mark is there. Yeah, definitely. But uh, Anglesey have always been tough down there. They're, uh, I think they've shown they're capable of beating most sides this year. Um, and on their day, they always have a crack. And, yeah, uh, we'll still be pretty confident going down there to take the four points. Yeah, you were sent off yourself. Can you Obviously, you can't say a lot because it may be a tribunal appearance. But can you tell us what you were actually sent off for? I won't say what I was sent off for, but uh, I think their runner was getting involved and I might have told him in some unkind words to, uh, that he shouldn't be in there. So whether I should be sent off for that or not is another thing, but uh, I don't think I've got to front the tribunal. Uh, have you been offered a set penalty or anything like that? Or? No, it's not, not a re report, just, just a send off. Well, uh. From what I know, do you know any different? Oh, I haven't heard any different. Tim, we'll keep a close eye on that, mate. Uh, enjoy your interleague break. Will you put your hand up to play next week or are you going to look at having the week off? Yeah, there's Boxer just over there now, so I better put my hand up, mate. <laughs> Best of luck. Thanks for joining us and congratulations on winning the Burger Inc. Player of the Day. Thanks, King. Tim Clark there, our Burger Inc. Player of the Day. Today it was Geelong Amateur by 25 points over Torquay. At Ellsworthy's Retrovision, we're more than just the best price. We'll give you expert advice with a huge range of big brand products. Locally owned and operated in Geelong, Ellsworthy's Retrovision will give you more every time. If it's a big screen TV you're after, or a top brand washer or fridge, we have the best range to choose from. Come into Ellsworthy's today at two big locations, Mirable Street, opposite Skill Stadium in Geelong, or Warren Ponds Homemaker Centre. Ellsworthy's Retrovision.